now let us do the solved problems on integration by parts first problem evaluate integral x sin inverse x dx so how to find out the integral of x sin inverse x dx x sin inverse x dx so now let us start here say i is equal to integral x sin inverse x dx let us observe the integrand so integrand is consisting of how many functions here here we have two functions one is x other one is sin inverse x sin inverse x is the inverse trigonometric function and whereas x is the algebraic function we know the liat rule as for liat rule actually inverse function comes first so sin inverse x should be taken as f of x whereas x should be taken as g of x so first function is sin inverse x second function is x that means this is the first function whereas this is the second function now integration by parts applying the formula integral of sorry first function sin inverse x integral of second function x dx minus integral of derivative of first function that is sin inverse x and next integral of first function second function that is x dx and whole dx now here integral of x dx is x square by 2 so we can write x square by 2 sin inverse x minus integral of what is the derivative of sin inverse x the derivative of sin inverse x is 1 by root of 1 minus x square 1 by root of 1 minus x square what is the integral of x dx that is x square by 2 and dx so take out of common take inside minus so this we can write x square by 2 sin inverse x plus of integral of minus x square by root of 1 minus x square dx now to split this integral in order to find out this integral add one subtract one now this can be written x square by 2 sin inverse x plus half times integral 1 minus x square and minus 1 upon root over 1 minus x square and dx now this integral can be separated this is x square by 2 sin inverse x plus of this is integral of what do we write 1 minus x square by root over 1 minus x square whereas minus 1 by root of 1 minus x square dx already in previous problems we have discussed whenever x by root x is there root we can write so this we can write x square by 2 sin inverse x plus of integral this value is equal to root over 1 minus x square dx and minus of integral 1 by root of 1 minus x square dx now how to find out integral of 1 minus x square dx this is in the form of root of a square minus x square dx what is the value of root of a square minus x square dx 
we know that x root of a square minus x square by 2 plus a square by 2 sin inverse x by a using that formula we can write this value. So, now x square by 2 sin inverse x plus half times x root of 1 minus x square by 2 plus a square, a square means 1 by 2 sin inverse x and this is nothing but actually here see sin inverse x only student integral minus of sin inverse x. So, now x square by 2 sin inverse x half multiplied by this one x root of 1 minus x square by 4 and half into half plus 1 by 4 sin inverse x minus half sin inverse x. Simplifying these two, so 1 by 4 sin inverse x minus half sin inverse x. If you subtract 1 by 4 from half, what do you get now? Or if you take 4 LCM, you get this will be 1 minus 2, so minus 1 by 2 sin inverse x you will be getting. So, that means, so this can be written x square by 2 sin inverse x plus x root of 1 minus x square by 4. Taking 4 LCM here, we get actually here minus sin inverse x by 4 or minus 1 by 4 sin inverse x plus constant of integration. Second problem, evaluate integral x square cos x dx. Now, let us observe the integrand. In integrand, how many functions are there? Here we have two functions. What are they? One is x square, other one is cos x. This cos x is the trigonometric function, whereas x square is the algebraic function. See, using this LIATE rule, LIATE means this is trigonometric, this is algebraic, this is first function you have to take, this will be the second function or this will be first function, this will be second function as for the order. So, that means here x square will be the first function, cos x will be the second function. So, now let us do it now. Here i equals to integral x square cos x dx. As for LIAT rule, this is the first function, whereas this is the second function. Now, first function integral of the second function dx minus derivative of the first function d by dx of x square and integral of second function that is cos x dx and whole dx. Now, here x square integral of cos x is sin x. So, sin x minus derivative of x square is 2 x. This is sin x dx. Now, x square sin x and minus 2 common integral x sin x dx. Again, what do you observe here? Again, we get product of the two functions. Whenever product of the two functions is, is there, we have to apply again integration by parts. So, let us say this is equation 1. Now, consider consider say i 1 because already this is i. So, now is equal to integral x sin x dx. 
in this case this algebraic function is first function this will be second function this is not i this is first function that is second function now this is equal to first function x integral of second function sin x dx and minus integral of derivative of first function is x and integral of sin x dx and whole dx now this is equal to x into what is the integral of sin x integral of sin x is minus cos x so this x of minus cos x minus what is the derivative of x the derivative of x is 1 so need not be written the integral of sin x dx is minus cos x and dx minus taken out this is minus x cos x so minus of minus plus integral cos x dx integral of cos x dx is sin x so minus x cos x plus sin x now substituting this value here we get the i value so from equation 1 therefore required integral i is equal to x square sin x and minus of 2 times minus x cos x plus sin x. Now multiply each term with minus 2. So this is equal to x square sin x plus 2x cos x and minus 2 sin x plus constant of integration. 